John Ernst Steinbeck Jr. was born on February 27, 1902, in Salinas, California. From a young age, he exhibited a passion for reading and writing and began to write late into the night in the attic of his childhood home in Salinas while still in high school. After graduating from Salinas High, he moved to Palo Alto to study at Stanford University, but Steinbeck eventually dropped out, opting instead for real life experiences, and he traveled east. In 1930, after marrying his first wife, Carol Henning, he moved back to Monterey County to live in his family's summer home in Pacific Grove, a small cottage by the sea. And it was here that his literary career began. He said of this time, financially, we are in a mess but spiritually, we ride in the clouds. Over the next decade, he focused on his writing, publishing short stories, and surviving mostly on Carroll's limited income. Also during his time on the Monterey Peninsula, Steinbeck met marine biologist Ed Ricketts, who would later become one of his dearest friends and the inspiration for the immortal character Doc in his novels Cannery Row and its sequel, Sweet Thursday. The pair were known to drink heavily late into the night at the still-preserved Pacific Biological Laboratory on Cannery Row, where they often discussed philosophy, art, science, music, and of course, literature. Steinbeck would often accompany Ed on his field research on the Monterey coastline, and Ed became a strong influence on Steinbeck and his work. Carroll later joined Ed's lab as secretary bookkeeper. As the 1930s progressed, Steinbeck began to achieve commercial success with novels such as Tortilla Flat, Of Mice and Men, and Grapes of Wrath, all three of which were turned into Hollywood motion pictures. In 1941, Steinbeck accompanied Ed on an ocean expedition to Baja, California, after which he wrote the book Sea of Cortez. Although Carroll also accompanied him on this trip, their marriage began to fall apart. They divorced shortly afterward, and Steinbeck left Pacific Grove. Steinbeck's time in Pacific Grove and on Ocean Avenue in Monterey, near the Ten Canneries, also influenced Steinbeck, and he eventually wrote the book Cannery Row based on those experiences. Later, the city changed the name of the street from Ocean Avenue to Cannery Row to commemorate the writer and his successes. In 1948, tragedy struck when Ed Ricketts' car stalled on the railroad tracks near what is now the Plaza Hotel on Cannery Row. He was struck by a freight train and hospitalized due to severe injuries. Though Steinbeck was living in New York with his second wife, Gwendolyn Conger at the time, he was deeply affected by the news and he rushed back to Monterey to be by his friend's side. Sadly, Ricketts passed before Steinbeck arrived back to the Monterey Peninsula. The death of Ed largely closed the chapter of Steinbeck's physical presence on the Monterey Peninsula as he returned east where he won the Nobel Prize in 1962 and eventually died in New York in 1968 of heart disease, largely contributed to heavy smoking his entire life. John Steinbeck's legacy in both the literary world and on the Monterey Peninsula are indelible, though, and he will be forever remembered for his honest and raw accounts of the Salinas agricultural realities of his time, as well as for his playful characterization of the Monterey Peninsula and its inhabitants. In fact, the characters made famous by Steinbeck on his books Cannery Row and Sweet Thursday can still be seen in monument form in the plaza near the Intercontinental Hotel where John Steinbeck presides over his greatest creations, both real and imagined, and looks out at the coastline that he and Ed once roamed together and will always be a part of.